good evening and uh, warm greetings from department of computer science cochin university of science and technology we are here to start an fdp program which is sponsored by aict atal academy so aict training and learning so this is in short known as atal and uh, they call it as atal academy so it is established in 2018 with a focus on imparting quality technical education in the country by training technical institutions in for for fostering research innovations and entrepreneurship in emerging areas it's a very new and very innovative and very successful program by aict they have chosen nine focal areas for uh, atal fdp program including artificial intelligence internet of things blockchain robotics quantum computing data science cyber security 3d printing and design augmented reality and virtual reality so all these fields are upcoming fields in terms of uh, research and uh, aict is giving promotion to all these uh, uh, fields by giving quality training through this atal academy so we are very happy to have the second fdp program conducted by our department department of computer science cochin university of science and technology and as you know it's a very competitive program all over the country people from engineering colleges and the universities and other premier institutions are applying for this program and aict is very keen to uh, grant this program to institutions uh, which excel in research teaching and uh, imparting training so we are uh, very happy to get this uh, atal fdp program for the second time so this fdp is on a special topic and we have selected the uh, machine learning for interdisciplinary engineering subjects as all of us will agree that machine learning and uh, its super set artificial intelligence is coming up in a big way in many of the fields and it is a game changer in in many of the uh, industry related projects and all so we the faculty members are very keen to understand the basics as well as the industry related uh, things how to implement all these things etc so this fdp is very unique we have uh, designed or atal academy has instructed us to conduct this is in an hybrid mode the one week the first week from 12 to uh, 17 it will be online consisting of uh, lectures online and uh, discussions uh, happening online and then the next week it will be offline so all the participants will be coming to our department and uh, uh, attending the fdp and we have uh, arranged an array of uh, beautiful skilled and uh, very learned uh, teachers as well as uh, academicians and uh, practitioners for this fdp and the highlight of this program is hands on uh labs sessions that we have uh, arranged for the participants so i'm damn sure that all the participants will gain in terms of the content and uh, in terms of the hands on experience that are they are going to uh, get from this fdp so i'm i'm very happy to begin with this small note and uh, i would like to thank the atal F academy aict for granting us this uh, unique opportunity 
and uh, i am very thankful to our beloved uh, head of the department professor dr philip samuel for uh, helping us to conduct this uh, fdp in this manner and i am very much thankful to all the uh, speakers who have uh, uh, given their consent and uh, agreed their time to spend with us to to uh, maybe excite us with the current trends in this uh, area machine learning pertaining to the different uh, engineering disciplines and i am very thankful to all the uh, uh, resource persons in that aspect and uh, i am thankful to the joint coordinator dr sailesh shivan for his efforts to jot down and uh, select the best people uh, for this program and i am very thankful to all the faculty members of this department my department uh, for giving the whole hearted support to to conduct this fdp and uh, not but uh, uh, i'm i'm very thankful to all the research scholars and the students of my department for uh, taking their time and uh, helping us to uh, jot down this entire program in a structured manner and uh, with this uh, small uh, introduction i would like to invite our uh, beloved professor dr philip samuel for uh, giving inaugural address over to uh, dr philip samuel thank you uh, sandar sir for uh, your nice words and introduction uh, actually today we have a wonderful evening we are uh, starting a new uh, fdp that is uh, aict sponsored uh, training and learning program uh, and the theme we know that it is machine learning for industrial yeah, engineering applications so from today onwards up to 23rd we are going to have a uh, enriched learning experience particularly in the field of machine learning so i think covid has given us Uh, new ways to conduct and teach and impart uh, learning. <clears throat> so uh, maybe it is because of that uh, this FDP is a new kind of FDP in a hybrid mode with uh, first part uh, in the online mode and the second part uh, hands-on uh, direct one-to-one -one program. So uh, this has enabled us to pull in <clears throat> several. a very good resources resource persons across the world so especially in the online mode uh, you can see uh, if you go through the program very uh, uh, highly eminent people coming and sharing uh, going to share their uh, knowledge with the participants so we are fortunate in um, that way so uh, so that will be followed by uh, an off offline session at the department so uh today i think we will be starting uh, our uh, program uh, with uh, an introduction to artificial intelligence and machine learning so that will be the key session for today's evening <laughs> so we have a special guest for us uh, attending this uh, uh, meeting to inaugurate the fdp so professor uh, dr kailas na uh, he is uh, in fact uh, professor of our uh, photonics department in kochi university and he is a good friend of us good friend of the department a well wisher a supporter to us and uh, he is he assumes the position of dean faculty of technology uh, in kochi university and also he assumes several important responsibilities in other uh, other universities as well so we are fortunate to have uh, uh, dr kailas nath uh, with us so on behalf of all the participants on behalf of the department of computer science uh, let me give you our hearty welcome to this program then uh, today's session uh it will be handled by dr deepak patmanavan uh, senior lecturer institute of electronics communications and information technology queens university belfast uk he is also a very good friend of our department uh, 
helping us uh, in several ways. Uh, he used to give keynotes in our conferences, other sessions uh, he handled in the past. We are thankful to you, Dr. Deepak, uh, associating with us and helping us again and again. So on behalf of the uh, entire family of Department of Computer Science, as well as uh, uh, on behalf of the participants of this uh, FDP, uh, let me uh, give you a hearty welcome to the program. Then this effort, this uh, whole, or this all uh, FDP is uh, has come true uh, because of the strong initiative and hard work of the coordinators of this program, uh, Professor uh, Sandosh Kumarji. He is the uh, key coordinator. It is his uh, his idea, his initiative, his hard work. Uh, along with uh, Dr. Sailesh, Assistant Professor of the Department of Computer Science. Both of them uh, put in a lot of efforts, a lot of thinking, uh, and, and that's, the, that's the result you are, going, uh, you are seeing in the, uh, this program. So, uh, I welcome uh, Professor uh, Sandosh Kumar as well as uh, Dr. Sailesh. Uh, actually, I need not welcome them because they are part of our team and they are the key coordinators of this uh, program. Uh, but still on behalf of the uh, participants, let me extend a warm welcome to both of them. Then we have, uh, this program is successful only because of the participants. We have a lot of participants from uh, Cochin City as well as from the state of Kerala as well as from outside the Kerala. So, uh, so it is the participants that make use of this FDP, and uh, 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 so they are going to get uh, all the benefit of the uh, program. So, um, I welcome all the participants uh, to this program. We have a lot of key resource persons. Uh, some of them may be here. Some of them will be joining in the other sessions. Uh, on behalf of this FDP and uh, on behalf of the Department of Computer Science, let me extend our warm welcome to all of them. We have faculty, researchers, as well as students of our department participating in this program. Uh, so I welcome all of them. So let me conclude here by welcoming <coughs> all of you once again. And thank you very much. Uh, Professor Kailas Nath, uh, I welcome you uh, to inaugurate this session and uh, having an inaugurated inauguration note. Thank you, Professor uh, Sandosh Kumar. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. okay. So, uh, respected uh, Professor uh, Philip Samuel, Head of the Department, uh, Computer Science Department, Cochin University, uh, the coordinators of this program, uh, Professor Sandosh Kumar and Dr. Uh, Sailesh, uh, Dr. Uh, Deepak Patmanabhan, uh, Queen's University, Belfast, and other uh, faculty members, dignitaries, and the participants. Good evening to all. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of this adult program that is FDP on machine learning for interdisciplinary engineering applications organized by uh, Department of uh, Computer Science. And I am happy to note here that they are continuously uh, engaging uh, the community, the computer science community with such innovative and advanced training programs. And I learned, I understand that they have done many such uh, training programs earlier for college teachers uh, even for the arts and science uh, colleges, they have uh, given that apart from the engineering college uh, faculty members. So coming to this uh, uh, area that is the machine learning and the artificial intelligence, I have uh, not much hands-on experience on that, but it is very interesting uh, to note that uh, uh, it is actually making a huge impact and long-lasting impact on the socio-economic uh, status of the world. 
including in my field like uh, photonics, optics, and uh, uh, related imaging technologies today. So apart from uh, a coordination uh, between this uh, machine learning experts and the other engineering fields, it, uh, they, they basically they come together to optimize systems and they feed uh, new data. So uh, that is what I understand. But uh, there are many interesting uh, you know, happenings that are uh, noticed uh, in the recent past. And also I have noticed one uh, very interesting uh, you know, news in the media, which says that an artist uh, who made his artwork uh, using an A uh, software won the the uh, the competition uh, two days ago uh, in uh, in a US competition. Actually, he's not an artist. He's actually the president of a a games uh, developing uh, company, and uh, there are there were many controversies regarding uh, that uh, one need not be a real artist to uh, to make such a uh, you know. Uh, good artistic work so that uh, prize should not be given to him uh, and there are many such apprehensions and uh, you know discussions going on in various other fields so uh, there are many things to be discussed in this area and many innovative methodologies have to be developed and more research uh, have to happen in this area so uh, if you uh, I, I hope that most of you are actually coming uh, or having um, some experience in the uh, the teaching and training in higher education uh, sector and we all know the contributions of uh, this kind of technology that is uh, making in our field uh, to make uh, students uh, learn concept better and also how they can uh, discover the needs of students uh, uh, based on these technologies that you may be Aware, well aware, but uh, coming to the photonics uh, specifically, uh, I am not uh, very much aware. But uh, the the scenario need not be the different. But uh, from two thousand eighteen onwards, if you come to the artificial intelligence of machine learning in photonics, the number of research papers uh, published has changed from a few hundreds to few thousands. That means that is exponential increasing, uh, exponential increase. Uh, is noticed uh, soon after this 2018 uh, maybe for the last uh, four years there has been a phenomenal uh, increase in the number of uh, you know research publications happening in this area so uh, coming to photonics there are uh, specific applications uh, in which you can uh, find this kind of technology uh, being affected uh, like uh, you know imaging and also in the the fast sensing that is the image capturing sensors of uh, you know um, the the cars uh, autonomous cars that are used uh, um, i mean that are being developed all uh, and also various kind of microscopes for example uh, the x-ray microscope optical microscope then tomography and all of them how they use this data uh, to analyze the images of cells and tissues uh, um, uh, and uh, this A uh, allows them to diagnose various diseases and disorders of the cells and tissues so that some early identification of the, the diseases are happening and so much of uh, research is happening in, in this particular area of optics and photonics in which uh, I am uh, you know, uh, working. So I am uh, very much uh, you know, sure that the huge opportunities uh, um, the, 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 this particular topic that provide to all you researchers, the faculty members and uh, uh, the entrepreneurs uh, in this area uh, uh, will be uh, uh, sufficient to make uh, a new knowledge and uh, you know, drastic changes in the society uh, for the benefit of humankind. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there was so much of criticism and uh, apprehensions that are uh, put forward by many professionals in different areas. So the innovation, research and adoption of new methodologies uh, to meet these new global challenges and also, uh, you know, there are so many challenges, you know, uh, very well than me, you are working in this field, most of you, the students and researchers. So uh, uh, this field is very strategically important field and uh, I hope 
that you will learn much from this uh, FDP that is organized uh, in a hybrid manner. So you are going to have your hands-on experience uh, uh, in the second part of this session. And uh, I congratulate the Department of Computer Science, KUSAT, for organizing this Adel FDP program. And I wish a very fruitful academic experience for all the participants. I have no doubt that this two-week hybrid FDP program will be useful to all the participating, uh, the faculty members, the researchers, engineers, and uh, entrepreneurs, uh, whoever. Uh, so I believe that the course is uh, you know, well framed and it incorporates both theory and practical sessions. So uh, in addition, I'm confident that the faculty members of the department and other famous professionals from the various institutions and companies will enlighten you all uh, in these uh, coming days. I mean, this the first session is for six days and uh, another week is also coming as a second uh, you know, session. So with these few words, I wish this adult FDP all success and I declare uh, this occasion to have begun. Many thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Kailasnath, for your uh, very thoughtful words, uh, especially stressing on the impact that this technology is going to uh, do in the society. Thank you uh, so much. And uh, thank you again for wishing us all the best and uh, inaugurating this FDP. Thank you, Professor uh, uh, Samuel, uh, for uh, welcoming all the speakers.